Captain America, huh? Damn right. We built this country. Bled for it. I'm not gonna let anybody tell me I can't fight for it. Not after what everybody before me went through. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Hello, 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 hello. Happy, 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 happy Sunday to all of you wonderful people, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the world in the whole observable universe, 93.7 billion light years from left to right. I hope you guys are doing great. I am so happy to be here. I missed you guys last week. I hope you guys got the message on my community tab. Your boy was just tired, man. He was he was out of there, you know, mentally and physically and emotionally drained. Well, maybe not emotional. Let me not just sound too dramatic. But I'm glad to be back this week. I am glad to be back. I am glad to be back. Got a few topics. I only have five, and I'm gonna get in more details on uh that in a second but thank you so much for being here i really do appreciate it as you are coming into the room please 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 give me that thumbs up give me that thumbs up give me that thumbs up leave a comment leave a chat all that good stuff share the video if this is your first time finding us or me uh welcome to just my opinion reviews to the moving this round up show um all that good stuff um i'll i'm gonna do the shout outs and all that in a second and i have some house cleaning and i'm gonna uh, update the 
the show a little bit. I'm gonna uh, have to change the times just a, just a tad bit, just for a few weeks, and I'm, I'm gonna let you know and all that. But as y'all are coming in, thank you so much for being here again. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you had a great day. I hope you are full, well, and rested. I hope you got your grocery shopping done. You, you're cooking. You, you got that done. I hope you got your clothes washed and all of that stuff folded, and or whether you throw it in the drawer, you fold it, all that. I hope you just prepare for the week coming and uh i am uh especially from an entertainment standpoint because we have a lot of great things that is on the horizon specifically today and we're going to be talking about that in just a moment but let me go ahead and just sh start shouting out all of you lovely people out there uh we got johnny washington in the building happy sunday jmo just my pen pen just i can't even say my own name just my opinion fam bless up thank you johnny washington i appreciate it thank you so much for being here uh we also have taronda coleman in the building what's good ma'am how you doing hey hey thank you for being here cynthia charles happy sunday just my opinion <laughs> i can't jmoers that's that's what we're going i like that jmoers I, sh I should get a shirt if i get a shirt to say jmoers will y'all buy it y'all like that let me know let me know God's child in the building. What's up? What's up? Hello, everyone. Miss Harper in the building. How you doing, ma'am? Hello, hello, JMO crew. Happy Sunday. I love it. I love it. ER's grandpa. Hey, what's going on, ER's grandpa? I missed you last week when I was resting, but I'm glad to be back. Thank you so much for being here. We got uh Brill David. The goat has returned. Man, that's what's up right there. That that makes thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Lovely, lovely compliment uh me i'm so ready for house of the dragons and yes i'm gonna address that as soon as i get these uh these shout outs done and uh yeah i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready thank you johnny washington uh d weave in the building 9 p.m can't wait can't get here fast enough salute be able right on i'm gonna make sure that we are out of here for the show <laughs> i think isn't a game of isn't game of thrones considered one of the most successful uh television shows and in, in tv history i could be wrong um as far as ratings and as, as numbers is concerned not great but it's just as far as numbers of viewers y'all let me know y'all let me know uh trend what's good yo what up what up what up uh tech and bloodline yes tech and bloodline is fire we're gonna be talking about that too a uh, matter of fact let me just go ahead and self pub just a little bit real quick is it that i that i uploaded yes i did i posted my review for tech and bloodline today it is on netflix check it out on netflix then check out my review or check out my review first then check it out on netflix the show is freaking amazing it is a love letter to all martial arts fans uh practitioners around the world so thank you d weave and let me change that background i got the wrong background up there because the show has already started and so you guys already know that so yeah there we go right there okay you know i got a kind of little, little anal over here all right all right uh and we we bouncing yes we are phyllis avery that's i'm calling my mama phyllis mama avery <laughs> how you doing mom thank you so much for being here and yes ma'am i did charge my phone thank you ma'am thank you mom uh chill spot aka the real mrs odinson i hope y'all working out your relationship hey everybody i'm uh i'm glad my my reminder went off i didn't realize it was 7 30. i'm assuming you're eastern but yes it's that time it's that time thank you for being here chill spot uh cleave 17 hey what's up b avery just watch that again uh hey what's up b avery just watched that again on friday lol are you talking about uh tekken let me know let me know d stilza was good uh we live y'all blur forever from the uk northwest london in the house blur forever did i know you i think i didn't know you was from uh the uk i'm tripping because uh your your super chat so thank you for being here uh let's see here let's see carla kale in the building hey y'all hey hey what's going on carla kale we got dania in the building hello everyone happy sunday what's good tara k uh, hey y'all hope y'all had a good weekend thank you tara thank you for being here uh, uh oh my god your mention of times reminded me that a new episode of evil comes today I'm uh, flying over my head. I'm, I probably know what you're talking about, but I'm just being slow right now. But thank you uh, for that. Uh, Cynthia Charles, what's up? DVD King already. What's going on? Jenna James. Hey, hey, hey. Raru 2M. Hey, hey. How you doing? Uh, the thing is jumping around. Let me go back up. Wait, where are we at? Zeus. Zeus. Uh, B. Lau. Uh, Lou. Hey, y'all. What's going on? What is going on? And where does this come? Okay. Kenneth Pierce, hashtag recast T'Challa. Yes, I love it. I love it. 
the homie i love brandon thank you so much and i love your comments on my videos as well thank you so much i really do appreciate it was talking about falcon in the winter soldier ah yes okay i got you i got you yeah i cannot wait for that movie captain america for the new world order yeah uh falcon is my guy in the mcu and so um yeah and what's going on shaul what's up what up just watching the cleaner already that's how you do it that's how you do it but y'all thank y'all so much for being here and uh, give me the thumbs up thumbs up oh we got six to eight people watching 10 people you know 10 minutes in let me hurry up because i know we got to get out of here for a uh, house of dragon so i usually host the movie news roundup show every sunday at 6 30 p.m cst but as we were discussing in the chat now house of dragons the prequel to uh game of thrones is premiering tonight at 8 p.m cst so that would only really give me about an hour and a half every sunday to do the show sometimes they don't last that long sometimes they can be two hours two and a half hours so for the next two and a half to three months while house of dragon is premiering on hbo hbo max i'm going to move my movie news roundup show from 6 30 p.m cst to six o'clock um six six yeah six o'clock on the dot p.m cst so that'll give me a good two hours to discuss various movie topics etc because i want to be there as soon as the show starts um uh, once the show is over i will move it back to 6 30 and if i have a lot of topics like one sunday i may move it up a whole hour to like 5 30 um and, and of course you know you guys will get the notifications and all that good stuff so you will be aware and you know i can communicate with you guys as well um so i just want to let you know so today it is at 6 30 p.m cst the central standard time I'm in Texas, so if you're Eastern, that's uh, seven o'clock. If you're Mountain, that's five, and y'all can do the math and all that. Uh, you're Pacific, that's um, that's four, four p.m. So today, six thirty, but next week will be at six o'clock. It'll be thirty minutes earlier. I just want to make sure you guys know that, okay? And so, uh, yeah, there you go, there you go, and uh, we can keep that short and sweet. Was there anything else that I wanted to bring up before we get all these uh, topics going? I don't think so. I think that's all the cleaning house that um, that uh, we had to do. So let's go ahead and get this party started, guys. I missed you guys last week, and let's, let's go ahead and do the do. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in to the Movie News Roundup show number 73. I really do appreciate it right now. I am live on YouTube at Just My Opinion Reviews. Also, twitch.com slash Just My Opinion Reviews. I uh, still haven't got my Facebook back yet, and I'm working on that. Everything that I'm going to be discussing today is going to be in the, uh, in the description box of this video with their respective links. And so uh, if you want to read along at your own leisure, you can go ahead and do that. If you would like to follow me on social media, you can. Uh, my handle is on the screen for Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, even though I don't have it right now, but I'm going to be getting it back. And so follow along, uh, subscribe, share the video, leave a comment and all that good stuff. And to all my lovely, lovely moderators out there, please, please, please. Keep on back. Keep on back. Keep on back. Keep on back. Protect the chat as best as you can i could not do this without you moderators thank you thank you thank you so much and uh i'm not sure if anybody is going to be popping up today so i will still just go ahead and be safe and put off the call if i'm gonna do this i'll need my news team at my side <laughs> All right, hopefully uh, Ron Burgundy was uh, loud enough, but we're going to see. We're going to see, but let's go ahead and get this party started so we can get to, uh, I thought I had a uh, image up. Yeah, I do. I do. Let me go ahead. Yes, House of Dragon, baby. It's going down tonight, 8 p.m. Let's do it. Ugh, I'm so excited. And I'm a casual fan, too. You know, I may do a reaction right afterwards. I know Elliot is going to be going live. He's actually going to be doing a watch party, then going live 
after that. And so I'm going to be tuning into all that good stuff. And it just depends on how my reaction video goes. Um, you know, I may cover it each week or I don't, I don't know, but we'll just see. But let's go ahead and move on to topic number one. As you can see, the banner at the bottom and the, and the image in the background. Guys, are you a fan of the Saw franchise? Have you seen all 30 million movies that they have? I've seen them all, and um, some of them are good, some of them are bad. I think, of course, the first three Saws are great. Saw 1 and 2 are freaking, freaking fire. They're fantastic. I love those. I mean, I was shook when I was in the theater watching those. Saw 3 was okay. Saw 3 was all right. Um, it wasn't bad, but, you know, it, and it, 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 it was good. It, it, it was good. It, it wasn't as good as number 1 and number 2, but it, it was fair. Now, Saw 4 and 5 were just BS garbage trash. I mean, I was in the theater mad, like, what the hell are y'all doing? This sucks. This is stupid. You know, so one to three was good. Four and five were awful. And then I remember six and I saw these in theater. Six was actually pretty decent. It wasn't good as one and three, but it was a nice way to, you know, in the franchise at the time. And so, yeah. Now, after that, they had another Saw movie. I forget. It wasn't. It, yeah, it was Jigsaw that came out in 2017. I already didn't care for that movie. Um, I thought it was kind of stupid. If we go to... um the box office mojo this one right here in 2017 um budget was 10 million dollars and it made 100 million so worldwide so i can completely understand the studio wanting to uh, make another one and just keep the franchise going but then we had spiral with chris rock that came out in 2021 now not to hate on e-man but i was listening to his show on friday and he was like it was trash it was horrible <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, I liked it for the most part. The the ending kind of frustrated me. I was like, oh no, why did this person have to die? But I mean, you go into those, um, you know, thinking like, uh, you know, well, of course you think that people's gonna die. That's the point of the franchise. But it made forty million worldwide, which is crap. Now, of course, this was in the middle of the pandemic um, last year. Um, forty million dollars—that's not a lot of money, especially when the other film made one hundred and two million. Um, and, and for Spiral, the budget was $20 million US dollars. And so it probably broke even at that, probably lost a little bit of money. So I'm kind of confused why we have this news, but y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all are excited for this. But um, we have another Saw movie coming and uh, I'm kind of shocked by that, especially with the way Spiral did, but I'm not upset. Bloodydisgusting.com for topic number one. Next Saw movie set for Halloween 2023 release with Kevin Grutert directing Bloody Disgusting has the exclusive. And let me make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. Darren Bowsman's reboot Spiral from the Book of Saw pulled in 40 million worldwide last year, reviving the franchise really and paving the way for more sequels. Another brand new Saw movie is indeed in the works with Bloody Disgusting exclusively learning that Kevin Grutert will be directing the next installment. And it's set for release on October 27th of 2023. Lionsgate and Twisted Pictures retained for the next installment of the Billion Dollar Franchise. The untitled film will be the 10th installment in the franchise. Uh, like Bowsman and Kevin is no stranger to the Saw franchise. Guterte directed both Saw 6 in 2009, which I said Saw 6 was pretty straight. And then the later the Saw, the final chapter in 2010. Um... Okay, I, I missed one. Along with the horror movies, uh, uh, Isabella in 2014 and Jackals, more recently in 2017. I ain't seen none of them. I heard of them. He also edited Saw uh, th uh, 1 through 5. I don't even know what that says. And Jigsaw. While Lionsgate and Twisted Pictures are keeping the plot and characters under wraps at this time, what? I mean, how is it, is it that um, unpredictable? Uh, we're told fans can be assured that the new film will capture their hearts and other body parts with all new twisted and genius traps and new mystery mystery to solve now i will say like okay who are the fans you know because they didn't make that much money um 40 million dollars is not a lot but the previous saw films did make a lot i mean if, if they're going to keep on making these just do it just don't have them to you know make them too expensive but continuing on franchise producers mark berg and oren kyle said we have been listening to what the fans have been asking for and are hard at working planning a movie that saw aficionados and horror fans alike will love and part of that is giving the reins to kevin Guterte, director of saw six 
which still is one of the fans favorites in the entire series i don't agree with that at all but we'll see more details will be revealed soon stay tuned for more on Saltine as we learn it and so of course that's the picture of jack i said jack saw jigsaw right there so guys uh again if you're watching this via live on the replay there's a link down to that article in the description box below for you to read at your own leisure but uh who is people really asking for this you know uh because when you look at these numbers right here this is this i mean this could be pandemic numbers i don't know i i didn't go to that deep into the trenches or whatever but you know this is what it had before in 2017 you know what i'm saying and so i don't think there are any other saw movies that i'm leaving out you know you saw 3d i saw the devil yeah this is yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah that, this is crazy how many movies is uh i think no yeah fast 10 that's and i got 10 of those too and so now kevin gortort you know I, we i talked about this and oh jezebel excuse me this is his filmography right here editor director saw 10 announced and so untitled saw project so wait a minute i got an untitled saw project in 2023 right here but then another saw 10 up there maybe that's a typo or something i don't know i mean people can go in here and ask stuff because imdb is official but it's not official but it is official but it's not and so i i i mean i, I don't really care for this uh i'll probably see it if it presents itself but i'm not looking forward to it uh dania says i stop i feel like they could have stopped the saw three agree agree 100 100 what's up strictly starlight how you doing from the uk as well yeah 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 it's going down uh what else are y'all saying about uh what's up frantic world about saw uh let's see here tyronda coleman uh nope not interested not interested i'm not mad at you for that i'm not mad at you for that uh let's see here um it's the same fans that asked for han solo too wow that's hilarious yeah who are those fans probably need to quell them a little bit no i'm just playing uh blur forever spiral was trash waiting for the final destination franchise to scare me right on right on right on strictly starlight i watched first saw and last two um if i didn't think it was scary it means it's a nail scare factor that's a good point man that's a good point miss harper says man she's not feeling it she's not feeling it <laughs> uh shaul uh saw directed by kevin gutort starring kevin hart as jigsaw as he hunts kevin McAllister while he's home alone somebody let's get this man a job in hollywood with these scripts that he's coming up with shaul that's an amazing idea that's hilarious <laughs> thank you for that uh Rutsu, uh fast x saw hilarious uh let's see here uh khadija uh hey b i saw the first one and it was a no for me i ain't mad at you i ain't mad at you uh the homie brandon i you brandon i you inspire me to be critic i want to work with you well thank you the homie i do appreciate it uh i don't know how we can work together but you know if i can inspire you man or, or uh woman i don't know um the homie uh, that's great and i'll try to continue to do my best and thank you so much for the comment and all of your support thank you thank you thank you uh it should be it should have been spiral w2 but it underperformed at the box office uh yeah true very very true very very true very very true uh thank you frantic world i like the first two saw movies but the rest of them was not good that is a fair assessment i'm not mad at that i'm not mad at that at all i'm not mad at that at all so yeah guys um let me know what you think about this um if you are dying to know uh, i mean dying to have another saw movie hitting halloween that's uh sure that's um a year from now about 14 13 14 months and so again guys if you're watching this via live or in the replay there is a link down below for you to read at your own leisure i doubt anybody is going to read it but i don't want to come to any conclusions or anything like that because we may really just have some die hard saw fans in the building but guys let's go ahead and move on to topic number two of the day talking about these dinosaurs anybody like dinosaurs i like dinosaurs uh i don't know if i like the dinosaur movies but we can talk about it this is uh, topic number two topic number two this is from screen rant jurassic franchise will introduce new characters going forward says star who is the star 
It is Bryce Dallas Howard. It is the woman that had the heels on in Jurassic World 2015 and outran the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Not saying that it's impossible, but for some reason, the way it presented itself in that movie, it did sound a little goofy. But again, guys, if you're watching this via live on the replay, there's a link down to this in the description box below for you to read at your own leisure. Bryce Dallas Howard discusses the future of the Jurassic franchise following Jurassic World Dominion and says that the that future films will have new stars. Before I get into this, like, do y'all want this? I would say I do, just because Dominion was disappointing. The film was not a movie about dinosaurs. It was a movie about locusts because one of the things that got people back to the theater for Jurassic World in 2015 is, oh, okay, what if the park with the dinosaurs actually opened up to the public? Because we didn't see that in the original 92 or 93 Jurassic Park film. It everything the shit hit the fan before the park opened, but now the park opened back, you know, opened in 2015. Says, oh, okay, this finally came into fruition. I want to see it. And Jurassic Fallen uh, World Fallen Kingdom was dookie. Uh, but the Jurassic World Dominion, this last one that just came out either earlier this year or last year, I think it was earlier, yeah, earlier this year, I'm tripping. Um, that was what I think everybody wanted to see. Like, okay, what if dinosaurs, they weren't on the reserve reservation anymore at the park, they just expanded around the world. You know, how, how will we coexist with dinosaurs? Could we survive? Is it possible? And they hinted at that in the trailers and at the very beginning of the film, but then abandoned it to, to, to focus on locusts and clones and stuff. And I didn't want to see that. So if they're going to give us a movie that is more um, in, in the lines of, you know, can we coexist with dinosaurs and just showing dinosaurs everywhere taking over the world? I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. But getting into the article specifically, Bryce Dallas Howard discusses the end of her dinosaur journey with Jurassic World Dominion and says that the future fans will introduce new characters. The first Jurassic Park uh, was released in 93 and everybody knows that um let me i was trying to let me go down to the quote in a new interview with people how it reflects on how it felt to finish shooting jurassic world dominion confirming that as far as she's aware this is really the end for me i don't think anybody's gonna miss her the actor goes on to say that while she said that her journey with the films is over she's excited and hopes for future installments check out howard's full comment below it is very sad to say goodbye to something so wonderful but also, I'm very excited for the folks who will carry the Jurassic saga forward. You know, it will be with a largely different cast and all of that. And that's something that is so that is something to be celebrated. I know as a fan what I want to see moving forward, and I hope it comes to fruition. I really do. And um, like I said, man, if it comes to fruition based off what I just said, that would be great. Um, but. You know, I, I can't necessarily say I'm just too thrilled with the way the last one ended. Now, if we look at the box office, um, of course, that made 1.6 billion because you know everybody wanted to see it. Look at that budget too; that, that just made a hell of a lot of money. But the quality went down. Like if you look at Fallen Kingdom, less money. And then if you look at <laughs> Dominion, even less money. So that's a good uh, seven hundred million dollars less than the you know man uh, God dog that they ain't cut in half. So I don't know, man. Y'all y'all excited for this? Um, do y'all want a new Jurassic? Y'all want this franchise to keep going and introduce new characters? Um, I think new characters. If you are gonna do more, I think new characters is a must. I do, in my opinion. Uh, y'all let me know what you think. What's up, Jaron? How you doing, bro? Uh, Shaul, uh, I want a Jurassic Park movie back in prehistoric times with the Flintstone. How did they domesticate? How did they domesticate the dinosaurs? Right, 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 right. Um, yeah, the movie was very disappointing. I did not rush back from the bathroom. Damn, damn, went in there just like I'm gonna take my time and play on my phone in the bathroom. Uh, Dane C. Jurassic, Jurassic Park to Jurassic World to Jurassic Hunters. Is that an animation, Jurassic Hunters? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. And you guys, thumbs up the video. Thumbs up the video. Um, let's see here. Okay. Not so many comments on this Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. Um, 
Okay, Rurutu, I, I feel you. Tom Holland needs to star in another franchise. Let him ride the dinosaurs. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Yeah, I want to see Tom Holland um, ride on some dinosaurs. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Spider-Man on dinosaurs. Um, if they do new characters, please no corner characters. Agreed, agreed, agreed. And so um, you guys let me know about that. Um, as you can see from my enthusiasm, I'm not just too excited about it, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Now, before we move on, I just want to address a uh, cash app from Miss Khadija Hall for $10. Thank you so much, ma'am. It's not a super chat. It's a, um, it's a cash app. So that's why you guys can't see it. But thank you so much, Khadija, for the, uh, for the cash app. I do appreciate it. What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money reside. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are keeping the lights on. I really, really, really do appreciate it. I really, really do. Let's see here. Um, the menu was okay. I'm so sorry, guys, but disappointing. Disappointing. And I don't, I need to, that's not even a bad word. Dane C, I'm going to show your comment. YouTube automatically hides stuff sometime and I have to approve it. So I'm not doing it on purpose. Uh, but yeah. Y'all let us know or let me know not us. It's just me. Y'all let me know what you think about this. If you're excited for a Jurassic uh, franchise uh, to continue with new characters or not, because I'm dying to know. I am dying to know. And again, guys, if you're watching this uh, via live on the replay, um, there's a link to that down in the description box below for you to read at your own leisure. And again, before I head out, before I change topics, Jurassic, the, the money kept going down with each film. And then look at the critical reception dress the world 2015 71% fallen kingdom 47% dress the world dominion 30%. So yeah, new characters may be a completely be what new characters may be what's necessary to get this thing back going. So again, you guys let me know what you think down below in that comment section, but let's go ahead and move on to topic number three. Cause I know you guys want to get to that house of dragon. It starts in less than an hour. But yeah, let's uh, go ahead and move on to topic number three. And do I not? I don't have a banner for it. Let me make one real quick. It's just going to take a quick second. Because um, you know me. I'd be thorough and all that good stuff. Okay. Is this, is this, are we working? Oh, no, that's not right. Hit that scroll. There we go. All right. All right. And we're going to move that right there. OK, cool. We can we can move on. We can move on. All right. All right. All right. Topic number three right here. I should have I should have got my DVDs and my Blu-rays to show you guys because I don't know. I just like, you know, showing them off. But we got this John Wick franchise right here that I'm really looking forward to. And so um, I like prequels. Some people don't, but we're not only going to get a prequel for John Wick. We're going to be getting a TV series. This was already announced, but I think the platform has changed. But this is topic number three. John Wick prequel show The Continental gets 2023 release on Peacock. The John Wick prequel show The Continental stars Colin Waddell and Mel Gibson will now release on the NBC's streaming service Peacock next year in 2023. Um, the Continental is the name of the hotel that acts as a safe zone for assassins in the underground world of New York in the John Wick franchise. The hotel is a centerpiece for the franchise as Kiana Reeves, John Wick is a frequent guest seeking refuge while on the run and frequently defying the rules, even as he defends the establishment. The John Wick film series featured Ian McShane's Winston as the Continental Hotel Manager with Lance Reddick as the main concierge, Sharon. And let's see, I thought that was a, where's the quote at? I guess that's it, hold on, my bad. Uh, Greg Colleague and Kurt, Kurt Ward serve as writers on the showrunners of the Continental, which stars Colin Waddell as a young Winston Scott. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Imagine the Continental in 1975, interesting. As an attempt is made to seize it, all while confronting a past he thought he left behind. I like that. The show also stars um, Oyo Mede Adogun as young Sharon, Peter Green as Uncle Charlie, Meg Gibson as Cormac, Ben Robson as Frankie, 
Hubert Point du Jour as Miles and Jessica Alain as Lau. And I'm not going to continue to read in the names. The three part special event series will be directed by Albert Hughes. So I'm assuming we're not we're not going to be getting a um, a John Wick in here. And so which is fine to me. It's a prequel. You know, he's probably a teenager or something like that. Is it going to be PG-13 show? I don't know. I hope not. That would be that would be horrible if it was. That would be horrible. Uh, but I did. If this is being directed by the guy that did the Book of Eli in the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, I'm down because uh, I really did enjoy those. Uh, the Continental is set to debut on Peacock as Liongate has struck a deal with the streamer to debut exclusively on the platform in 2023. Um, said the the people directing this said that the deal by bringing this special event series to Peacock and putting the full power of NBC Universal behind it. The premiere of the Continental will be streaming will be the streaming event of the year. Wow. Okay. They okay. I like that. I like the energy. Um, a specific release date has yet to be revealed, but the Continental's three-part special event series is expected in 2023, likely following on the heels of the release of John Wick Chapter Four, which is slated to debut on March 24th of 2023. And so, yep, that's uh, coming right around the corner. Um, Lionsgate Television Group ch Chair Kevin Beggs championed the deal as well, citing John Wick's massive, passionately engaged fan base around the world. And he said that they're excited by the opportunity to bring John Wick franchise to the next level. He also called the Continental one of the most highly anticipated streaming events of 2023. I would agree with that. There's still so much to be revealed about the Continental in terms of length, style, and tone, and how closely it will resemble the John Wick series. But now it has a streaming home and an earmarked date to debut. More information is sure to um, is sure to reveal soon. So yeah, this is dope right here. Um, I may have to get Peacock just to watch this right here because I am very, very excited. We got John Wick three. I think they filmed John Wick four and five at the same time, but we know we're getting a John Wick four. I'm just gonna say we're gonna get five John Wick movies total, and then a three part Continental series. And if it's successful, why not more? You know, keep expanding the universe. Let's let's tell after John Wick. Let's tell stories of other assassins. You know what I'm saying? And the origin of the continental you know the first assassin on the planet let's have it all you know i'm i'm definitely here for this molly pushback would be like i don't want you know in john wick three he kind of did seem like you know he was superman just able to beat everybody and he just couldn't die but you know other than that I, i'm here for it i'm here for it uh I, okay i think that's the past franchise you're talking about um khadija this is going to be exciting. I hope they address how it got started with the hot table. Exactly. Exactly. I miss my Uncle Charles, y'all. I think you're joking, uh, but that's kind of funny if we're on the same page. Um, I'll snap the Hughes brothers. I love them. Right on, right on. I love the book of Eli, too. That was a fire-ass movie right there. That was a fire-ass movie. Um, that, sh that should be good. Uh, why have it on Peacock? This could be on Stars. Man, I don't know. They be just working out these deals and trying to find the best thing for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, ambitious aren't, ain't they? They are. They are. Not another streaming service I have to get. I know, man. Like, um, might might have to get cable again. All these streaming services, you know. Uh, Miss Harper, now you have my attention. This sounds good. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on. Uh, Jehu. Damn, I never got a notification for this stream. One second, one second. Let me check something real quick. One second, one second. I'm sorry, y'all. One second, one second. Oh, I'm tripping. Okay, okay. Um, but thank you. Uh, I'll have to try to fix those notifications. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hold up. Lionsgate on stars. Why didn't they put the Continental on stars? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, get Holly Bear home movie. That would be cool with them dogs. Yeah, she was she was pretty cold with it. And guys, oh, I, I'll wait on that. I'll wait on that. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, Brandon, were you a critic when Rotten Tomatoes and any of these films, uh, John Wick and 
Jurassic World, I pro- probably, I can't remember if I put a review on Rotten Tomatoes or not, but maybe. Um, I love Ian's acting too. And Shaul, uh, just an idea, if you're not willing to sign up for a certain streaming service, why not allow people just to rent shows on Apple TV or Roku? You make money either way. Huh. Huh. Uh, I see where you're going with it, Shaul, but at the same time, they're trying to entice people to subscribe. So to for you know month to month. So if they can just tune in for one show, you know, they may make money, but they may be losing potential money. I would just have to see that charted out, but I, I like where you're going with that. I like where I like where you're going with that. Um and so you guys uh let me know will you are you in uh, are you a fan of the john wick franchise will you be watching this continental prequel series are you sick of the franchise uh just let me know i am dying to know i am dying to know and again if you're watching this via live on the replay there's a link to this down in the description box below for you to read at your own leisure and let's go ahead and move on to topic number four we're just flying by it's gonna be the fastest show ever uh we only got two topics left two topics left oh and somebody um where's that comment the homie brandon work brandon work with you brandon work with you like tyra i'm i'm sorry i'm i misunderstood what you said uh well, let me get this banner up right here now guys this is really disappointing to me like seriously it makes no sense. This company continues to make content that's so so, that is suspect, that is inconsistent. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. But a certain division that uh, they put out, it's always good. Every time they put out a movie that's animated, it's great or a show for the most part. I'm talking about Warner Brothers. I'm talking about HBO Max. I'm talking about Warner Brothers Discovery. Now, of course, we know that they're under new management right now and they're making some adjustments and shifting this and shifting that around. And there's going to be some changes. I understand that. But let's keep the stuff that is successful as far as money and fan and critical reception going. I don't get it. If you look, everybody's always talking about comic book adaptations right now. Marvel is winning. The MCU is on is the king. DC is so far behind all this stuff. But since the beginning of time, DC has always, always, always have either good to fire animated movies or TV shows. I love them. I collect them. There's only a few I don't have, but I got like over 30, 35 movies of the DC animated films. And so I just don't understand why they wouldn't be going forward with this. But tying this to an animation, this is topic number four, and this is coming from CBR.com. This makes no sense. Young Justice, HBO Max has no plans for a fifth season. Why? Why not? HBO Max and Warner Brothers reportedly have no intentions to renew DC animated series Young Justice for season five after its move from DC Universe. Young Justice may not be getting a fifth season. According to known TV line scooper, Matt Webb Mitovich, Young Justice season five is not currently in the cards for a streamer HBO Max. HBO Max from Go had only ordered a single season on the one-time Cartoon Network and DC Universe series, and that plan has not changed, uh, Mitovich wrote. There are currently no plans for season five, I am told. Young Justice originally premiered on Cartoon Network in 2010. And I'm not going to go through that. That just talks about how it was uh, canceled and brought back on this different network and stuff. But fans like I like Young Justice. It's a great show. Some of the some of the, you know, commentary is a little bit forced. You know, people calling it woke. Yeah, not you beat me to it. It's too woke for the new reg- regime. Yeah, um, it, it is kind of forced in there, the pronouns and, you know, oh, I don't know what my identity is. It's, it's not, it's, it doesn't flow like it it should, you know, so I'm not mad at you, Jehu. But fans of Young Justice are already rallying to put pressure on HBO Max to reconsider the decision. 
Some have expressed disappointment at the prospect of the series being canceled a second time, especially when the Young Justice season four finale offers several teasers for future storylines. It did, such as the ultimate fate of General Drew Zod and his followers. Y'all, seriously, this is crazy because on my channel, like, look at this real quick. I'm a Young Justice. I started covering it because it was so good. Look at my channel right here. Young Justice season four. That's episode 25, 24, 20, 21. I was in there, 23, 26. Yeah, 22. I, I started covering the show and I was really enjoying it. You know, it, it was good. It was it was nothing but magic and magic powers and beat ass every episode. Every episode, somebody was getting their ass kicked and it, it was great. And um, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. They want to not continue the things that people want. Well, maybe they should make some plans already. We got hashtag recast T'Challa. Let's get this hashtag renew young justice. Save Earth 16. You know, these are people online Twitter. This is the this is the one project I won't allow you to cancel. Warner Brothers Discovery, get on board and or get out the way. Hashtag Young Justice, hashtag Renew Young Justice, hashtag Save Earth 16. I'm gonna be doing that too. Um, I'm gonna be doing that too. Let's see here. Young Justice season two ends with cliffhanger and gets canceled. Young Justice season four ends with cliffhanger and gets canceled. That's wild to me. I I, I don't get it. Um, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, it is very, very frustrating. Uh, but y'all let me know what you think in the comment section. Finally, a worthy opponent. Our battle will be legendary. Yes. Apparently somebody has heard the call and they are coming at the perfect time. I'm really eager um, to hear uh, what they have to say about this. Who do y'all think is backstage right now? Hmm? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. I'm stalling right now because I'm trying to find that intro video, but I can't find it. But coming to the stage. I lived my entire life waiting for this moment. Indingu and Jadaka. Unyanaka and Jogu. I found my daddy with panther claws in his chest. Nah, I'm your king. Come on. Yes! <laughs> uh, the rightful ruler of Wakanda is here. The, D the, the Marvel king. The hate on all this DC stuff. I'm confusing, man. What's going on, Larry? How you doing, my brother? Oh, man, it's all good, man. I'm telling you, when can we get a Killmonger standalone movie? That's I what I'm saying. That. When can we get a Killmonger standalone movie? That would be dope. We need that, and we need, like, a Howard the Duck somewhere in oh, there. Oh, Lord, this Howard the Duck, man. I'm telling I, you, that, you, if you, don't, if you don't get down with Howard the Duck, it's just because you don't know. That's all it is. I got you. I'm going to take a word on it, man. But, Larry, thank you so much for being here, bro. I do appreciate it. Y'all, if y'all don't know, this is Larry, with today I feel like the rifle ruler of Wakanda right there. His information in the description box on the screen and on my channel tab as well. Larry, I remember um, early in the year, I was we was talking in a little group text thing. Mm -hmm. and I was like, yeah, man, Young Justice got nothing but magic powers and beat ass, man. And it was, it's, <laughs> so I remember you laughed like that, too. It, it, it's such a great show. It's such a great show, bro. So it seemed like it would be a given to them to renew it for season five. So I don't I don't know what the hesitation is about, but how are you feeling about this, that as of now, there are no plans to move forward with this? Um, I have mixed feelings on. I'll tell you one. One reason why I have mixed feelings, because I've been watching. I have not, I have not just binged through it. I've sort of watched them, you know, just when I have time and, and when I'm editing and stuff. And, um, and so I'm on, like, I'm on season one, episode 25 right now. So, oh, really? So I, I still have, I still have three full seasons to go. So I'm right now, like hearing they're getting canceled and they're not getting season five, kind of like, ah, I have plenty of time left. But I don't really understand the reasoning behind it because it's actually a good show. Yeah. It's yeah. a really good show. The only thing that I can imagine is, is maybe with marvel putting out their comics their their animated stuff they're just like oh man they just beat us again this isn't gonna work we got to do something else it's just marvel's just eating our lunch again but with all the disney you know i mean with all the uh warner brothers and uh uh you know 
uh, Discovery Plus, HBO Max stuff, all that, all that stuff going on. I think they're just probably caught up in the mix. Really, I, I hope so, man. Now the thing, so let me let me clarify. You said you're on season one, episode twenty five. Yeah. Are you rewatching the whole thing, or this is your first time? This is my first time watching oh, wow. it all the okay. way through because I've just okay. sort of like at times just sort of like randomly caught episodes here and there and watched different stuff. Gotcha. I haven't watched them all the way through before. So yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I used yeah, to, yeah. I, I watched all the I would watch all the uh all the um DC animated movies. I just didn't really watch Young Justice all that much. So I, I, I fell off too. Um, I, I, I watched Young Justice when it first came out. Loved it. Loved it, man. Um, I really did. I think you, you're going to love that season finale of season one too. It, it was pretty, it was pretty badass. Uh, but in this article, man, it goes on to say like this show has been canceled and brought back and canceled and brought back and bounced around. I mean, it started in 2010 and it, yeah. it was on Cartoon Network. It was, um, it was all over the place. And so, I, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to why it they should renew it. I mean, if unless the numbers are just piss poor that I don't know about, I mean, it's a good show. Now, like like I think Shaul said, season four they kind of forced the I hate this word now woke. You know, they mm. they it's, it doesn't flow like they, they, it's blatantly obvious they're trying to. I don't want to say agenda, but just you, you say know, it. it no, no, it is. is no, it just it doesn't apply. It's just you know they're. They're really tr trying hard with the inclusion, which is perfectly fine. Just make it natural. Just make it organic. You know, don't don't go like down a checklist. And so, you know, and that's, that's what it seems like they do sometimes on TV nowadays. And but true. the thing is, part of it is you saw you have to produce for and I and I, well, here's it. You, you have to either produce for the audience that you have. Or if you're going to produce for the audience that you want, you have to commit to it and you have to stick with it. Because if you commit, if you're trying, if you're trying to produce for the audience you want, but don't currently have, and then you say, okay, well, it's not working out. And then you, and then you just bounce out and say the show's canceled. Well then, I mean, why even start down that path in the first place? And we know that the comic book realm is filled with a bunch of, you know, basement dwelling, you know, homophobes. And so, <laughs> You know, it has <laughs> it has definitely become more inclusive, but it still is very much that the diehards, the people that are up there. That, I mean, you have you have normal folks like us, you know, you have people that are like, uh, you know, like your girl. Um, um, damn, I'm losing her name right now. But, you know, they're they're also very diehard comic fans and they would like to see more inclusion. But there's a lot of people who don't. There's a lot of people that are like, stick to the stick to the script. Stick. We have we have 50, 80 years of you know of good content that's already there, just waiting to be adapted to, to a film or to to animation or whatever. Just stick to the script. There's a lot of people that want that. A lot of people are saying, no, I want to see representation, and I'm okay with it. But do like you do. Make it more organic. Don't yeah. always don't don't jam it down people's throat so much so that they see it. Like when I see. When when the inclusion happens, it should just be that it should just be that it happens so much so that you don't even see it, you know? Right, 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 right. Like if they go, if like if they wanted to introduce a new Asian character, if all of a sudden there was some villain that was attacking some Asian country, and they're there, they show up, and there's already a, a Asian superhero fighting dude, and they're like, dude is like, who are you? Where'd you come from? Who would you guys come from? And they're like, who are you? And all of a sudden they fight together, defeat this dude. And they're like, hey, you know, we're Young Justice. We need you to come back and work with us because your skills are on point. And now all of a sudden dude's like, yeah, OK, I got that. I'll come back with you. Now you have a new character. It's just introduced that way. You don't need to like just be like, hey, here we go. Here's a new gay person. We're all up in the building with it. <laughs> That's so I mean, introduce, I the, <laughs> introduce the person. I mean, if the, gay, if, the, if the Asian dude came in and it happened that dude was gay, so what? Right. You know, right, right. I, we love everybody. It's just one character, man. In season four, I think her name is Halo. I think that's the name, and they just shove it in your face. You know, it oh, ain't, it, 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 it ain't, it ain't. <laughs> it's not organic at all. I'm like, damn. Mm. <laughs> you know, and again, nothing wrong with it. Just, just make it a natural progression. It is something there, wrong with know? it. It is. No, 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 no. I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm saying there's nothing wrong with. Uh, 
d- different lifestyles is what I'm saying. No, not not the lifestyle, but the but the jamming it in your face, the yeah. the 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 introduction of the characters is what's is what's wrong, not not the character themselves. And it also just goes to show just in basic storytelling and TV and film, like nobody wants an exposition dump, you know, where they're talking to the audience like we're morons, you know, like there's an old saying, show don't tell, you know. Right. So uh, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, and if you do it, you have to you have to like there are shows that where people have done it, episodes where people have done it. They did that in 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 She-Hulk this last. She was basically like, oh, right. This is a lawyer show, but you're not going to get that until you kind of understand all this. And then they went and the whole episode was an exposition dump. And you could do that if you're going to commit like a whole episode to it. I was just about to ask you that because that's the next topic. Um, so uh, one second on that. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let us know what you think about this right here. Um, if you are happy or disappointed that as of right, it's not saying that it's canceled. They just don't have any plans for a fifth season. Yeah. Matter of fact, that was something I forgot to read in here because there was a quote. This dude says something in 2021. Hold on. Because I read it before the show as I was trying to prepare. Uh, yeah. Uh, Young Ju- I kept, okay, yeah. Young Justice has been canceled on a cliffhanger and something fans might have done well to expect. However, series developer uh, Greg Wiseman has been adamant that Young Justice has no ending. I keep saying mm. over and over, it never ends, he wrote in 2021. Yeah. There will never be a proper ending to Young Justice ever. So we'll either get more or we won't. Meanwhile, we have a game plan for at least three more seasons figured out and by the time we have finished those we probably have three more that's at least 75 episodes right there man and i'm here for it because if you haven't seen i mean of course i've seen the last one the the, the story you got the freaking universe and multiverse there's countless species and races and just stuff you can tell and so if they want to make money they should keep it going so Again, should, guys, you know what they really should do, and this is just me always saying they should do this all the time for stuff. They should take that, they should take that series, and they should, and maybe they don't want three more seasons. Maybe they only want two more seasons or one more season, two preferably. You should take one more season and lead it into a movie, and then have like a, and then have like a Young Justice, you know, either a, a real animated feature or have a live action movie. And then you can leave that movie somewhat on a cliffhanger that takes you back into one last season, uh, one last uh, season of it. And then you can let the fans be out. You know, there you go. There you go. Again, guys. So if you're watching this via live on the replay, there is a link down to this in the description box below for you to uh, read at your own leisure. And you know, what's you know, just a quick other interesting point with this this thing where I know sometimes producers and directors they like to have this whole thing where they're like, oh, there's no ending, yada yada yada. They like to have that open ended thing. Fans don't like things open ended. We we like things to have some resolution and to and and some finality. And and people have long memories. People will remember when you leave them hanging. I mean, there I, I can't remember the people who produced the show Lost, but when they came out with that other show about the airplane, there was a lot of people that were like, I'm not watching that show. I remember what they did to me with Lost. I stayed with Lost for like 11 seasons, and they left us with trash. I'm not watching their stuff anymore. Yeah, I think that was and like the worst ending in history or something. I, I can't remember. But people, that the people remember that stuff, you know? I mean, people remember, like, people were upset about The Sopranos. There was a lot of people that are like, I'm not watching any more Sopranos crap. Don't come out with another show. Don't come out with a prequel. Don't come out with another character. A lot of people were upset. They were like, we, we gave you all this time of our life, and you can't even give us a proper ending? Right on, right on, right on. Thank you, Larry, for that. Before we move on to the final topic, uh, so we can get to this uh, House of the Dragon party, got a super chat right here. Uh-oh. From uh, my main man, E Man, with E Man's movie reviews. Hold on, real quick. Thank you, my brother, blessing the channel like that. Yes! Yes! <laughs> e Man, don't make me go in on you, bro. West Beef. Beef is Brandon versus E Man having a YouTube beef that don't exist. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up the great work, fellas. Uh, I'm about to go see this Game of Thrones hashtag renew young justice hashtag recast the Chala 
Hashtag mm. Killmonger's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we man. know Killmonger is not first of all even if Killmonger dies we know from the comics there is a resurrection bed that this brother hops on like every issue and comes back to life so even if he did die he's coming right back here you go he man. doesn't here die you. Killmonger does not die I'll tell you what you want to you want to bring T'Challa back this is how we bring T'Challa back Killmonger gets with Shuri they get boom have oh, a baby gosh. and they name the baby T'Challa there you go. About, now was, you have your T'Challa back. I was about to salute you, but here, here you go, man. Here, here you go. Here you go. Oh, that's the wrong. That's the wrong one. Damn, I'm clicking the wrong video. Crap. Here you, here you. I'm your king. All right. There you go, right. man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And yes, we gotta we gotta get out of here for House of the Dragon. E man. So let's let's go ahead and do that. I'm your king. Thing. He's your king. All right, guys, we got this last topic. And uh, Larry, are you uh, are you watching House of Dragon tonight? Are you a fan? I am gonna watch it as soon right. as we get done here. I'm gonna go watch it. Yeah, let me let me. Uh, what the it hell? It starts at nine o'clock uh, Eastern time, so we have what 28 minutes? Yes, yes, 28 minutes. Right. 28 minutes. All right, last topic of the day. Uh, I hope you keep Disney me on plus. task, huh? I hope you keep me on task so we can get out of here. I, I'm, I'm trying, man. Are you gonna, gonna be going to extra co- one more, one oh, more. You see one that? More. I got off task. We're talking about staying on task. Yeah, that's I'm with you, man. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> last, I'm um, kissing the mic and stuff. And anyway, last topic of today. I am, I never even heard about this website until today. But this is I want to get it right. Boundingintocomics.com. Um. They say She-Hulk writer teases series lighter take on Daredevil. People have already seen a version who is very dramatic, dark, brody. And man, I, I'm, I'm really eager to um, hear what you have to say about this, Larry. I'm pretty sure everybody's going to disagree with me. But in case there was ever an doubt that Daredevil's character would make through his jump from Netflix to Disney Plus <sighs> unscathed, She-Hulk attorney law series creator and head writer Jessica Gow has confirmed that such audience will see a lighter side of the man without fear when he makes his costume MCU debut. Mm. Gail revealed that Hornhead's personality would echo his new original <laughs> comic book costume inspired yellow suit during August 12th interview with the directs Pamela Gores given in promotion of She-Hulk's premiere. Tuning to the subject of Daredevil at the behest of Gore, Gal began to speak up of his upcoming cameo with the sparkling recollection that she and the rest of the show's production team well, first of all, we're shocked that we're able to use him. Uh, uh, like we first heard that he was on the table. I mean, we couldn't believe it. She has claimed we was thinking like, OK, at some point, somebody's going to say, just kidding. Like it's a cruel joke and you actually can't have him. And he just kept going and kept going. After briefly noting that Matt Murdock and actor Charlie Cox was so wonderful and so game to do whatever. And he's such a wonderful actor. And a wonderful human being, God then revealed that what was so fun about bringing him and Daredevil into our world is that people have already seen a Daredevil who is very dramatic, uh, a little bit on the heavy side, very dark brooding. And it was so fun to be able to do, it was so fun to be able to do, and we do this with every character cameo from the MCU, is we take them from the environment that you know them from, which is a much more dramatic and action-oriented role, much more on the serious side and we bring them into our world and they get to play in the tone of she-hulk yeah gal explained to gore and they got to explore and we got to see a lot of side of that character following his confirmed appearance in she-hulk Dirk devil will continue his adventures in the marvel cinematic universe in the excuse me recently announced disney plus reboot day a daredevil born again and is um and if a resume credit for marvel team costume designer stacy calabrero is to be believed the Echo Solo series. Um, Larry, how are you feeling about this, man? Does it make you nervous or are you just really don't care? Like, I mean, we all know and love the Daredevil on Netflix. You know, Kingpin is smashing people's heads in with car doors, you know, and <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Of course, we know we can't have that on Disney Plus. So I'm right. not too startled by this, but at the same time, we could have it on Disney Plus. It's all going to eventually end up on Disney Plus. So why not do it now? What? All the stuff, all the brutal stuff that we have ends up on Disney Plus. Oh, anyway. oh, oh, oh. Okay. It's all going to end up there eventually. This idea that we can't have it on Disney Plus, I don't think that's accurate because it all ends up there. So after seeing the first episode, like, 
I mean, how are you worried about this lighter tone that she's talking about? I, I, actually, I'm not. To be honest with you, after I read this article and I and I heard the way she expressed her sentiment towards uh, the lighter side of Daredevil, I really was thinking like, OK, yeah, that actually sounds kind of cool because you have, you know, you have these characters that we often see that have these dark brooding, you know, they're, they're these brooding figures that are just like, oh, you know. The world is all on me and, and, and they're constantly <laughs> angry and fighting and everything else. It is it would be kind of cool because no one's like that all the time. And so it would be kind of cool to see the lighter side of them. And because this show does have a lighter tone, it's kind of the proper place for it. I don't think that's going to be the continual tone that we see with with Daredevil. I think we're going to see him in that in that sort of space. And then we'll move back to where he's back to where he normally is. But I think it's important to show people as three dimensional, you know, you know, characters and not just, this is all they are. I mean, as much as people hate the Hulk and smart Hulk and, you know, and everything else, that's kind of what makes the Hulk interesting also is the fact that he's not one dimensional to where he's just Hulk smash. That's all cool, but that gets boring after a while. You really do need to make sure that people are sort of three-dimensional, the characters are. And so I'm okay with a lighter. I'm okay with a lighter Daredevil as long as it doesn't stay that way forever. Okay. I got you. My my opinion on that is um, I'm fine with it as, as long as he's just not too goofy and joking. I don't need my Daredevil to be extra violent. Um, I don't need the Daredevil show with them smashing heads in the cars and stuff like that. I'm <laughs> fine. I'm fine with this. As long as, I mean, yeah, this, is the, heads. this is the original uh, Daredevil, the director's cut. And this wasn't rated R. And I found this perfectly fine. If it's keep, mm. if they keep, if they keep it consistent with this, I'm mm. perfectly fine with that. And I actually don't mind this movie other than the see the teeter totter scene. Uh, but I'm, I'm okay with it. And as long as we don't get him doing stuff like this, like in us, uh, oh, I don't know, click the wrong, uh, click the wrong thing. As long as, as long as he's not doing this right here, and goddamn, I ruined my joke or whatever that I was trying to, <laughs> that I was trying to make. And now I'm bringing up House of the Dragons. It's, it's falling apart, Larry. The show's falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> what I, what I, as long as he's not doing stuff like this. Oh, you know, geez, uh, yeah. Peter Parker and, and, and Spider Man Three. I'm perfectly fine. I don't need to. Be, he don't need to be making any jokes. All I, all I want is um. Why was he channeling John Travolta there again? I couldn't remember why he was up there doing his his uh you know doing his whole right dance. Thing. I was like, oh, oh gosh, right. what are you doing, bro? And to be honest, the only thing I didn't really care for in the Netflix Daredevil series is the Daredevil that I know growing up was much more agile and flexible than the Daredevil in Netflix. I mean, this dude was doing backflips, somersaulting using his little weapon thing to swing kind of like Spider-Man. Of course, he's not as strong and agile as Spider-Man, but the, you know, as far as the fighting is concerned, um, you know, I, I still like this right here. And so if it, if it stays inconsistent with the, the Ben Affleck Daredevil, I'm perfectly fine. I don't need a rated R Daredevil. Um, Are we going to get Electra? Of course, of course. I think that's already been announced. And so, okay. you know, I, I'm cool with it. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below uh, in the comment section. We got 20 minutes before this show starts. I'm going to just look at a few comments. Um, Punisher is on Daredevil Plus. Okay. On Disney Plus. What did I say? Daredevil Plus. I said Daredevil Plus. <laughs> you, you renamed the network. <laughs> Man, hold up. Uh, thank you. Thanks, everyone. I'm paying for it. I might as well watch it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, he is right. The Punisher is brutal and bloody, and it's on Disney Plus. Yeah. 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 Um, and I mean, you know, another thing, hold on. I think that there, I think the character may be a little light on She Hulk, but when we get his own series, I think that may crank it up a bit. Yeah. You know? and, and that's perfectly and, fine. And we may not see She Hulk stay super light. Like, we don't know. I mean, you've seen the first, what, the whole season? First no, four, something like first, first half. Yeah. Of the season. I mean, so I don't know. Maybe it stays light, but maybe it gets a little bit darker. I mean, I keep thinking, I keep thinking of how sort of, comedic and slapstick WandaVision was and by the end of that series it was not funny You're it was right. dark and brooding and 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 point. and dramatic it just it was not the slapstick you know you know 50s 60s 70s 80s comedy you know sitcom style that they had you know they they 
even though they sort of kept that vein, they surely moved away from it and made it much more, much darker, much more dramatic. And I'm okay with that. I like those transitions. I think they're fun. I think it keeps the people interested. You don't know what you're going to get week to week. I agree. I agree. Um, I didn't even think of that. That's a good point because she did enslave people's minds. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Multiverse of Madness was, you know, it, it was kind of dark too. I know some kids that was afraid of Wanda. I don't know them personally, but I heard, you know, they was afraid <laughs> of Wanda, you know, leaving the theater. And so I think this is fine. And also uh, I think people are kind of jumping the gun because this news came out before she, the first episode of She-Hulk even premiered, debuted. And so you didn't even mm. have a, excuse me, other than the trailers, you have no uh, basis to go off of, you know? And yeah. so um, I think it'll be A-OK. Uh, I'm not worried about it. I just, I just, I hope he just, it's some nice ass kicking. And I think it's, I think it's going to be uh, that way. And so um, I'm actually looking just, forward I to I want to know if we're going to get some more cameos. I want to know if we're going to get a little, a little hint of, of, Luke Cage or Jessica Jones or the Punisher or, or any of them coming back in. And, and of course, obviously I want a full episode with Howard the duck, but right on, right on, right on guys. Y'all let us know what you think down in the comments. Larry, you have any more commentary on this? I don't know what people want to see in there. I want to know what they want to see. You know, blade. I'm curious to you know, a blade. There you go. That's, that's, that's legit right there. Mm-hmm. And uh, Moon Knight is just as violent as the Punisher in the comics. Okay, yeah, Moon Knight wasn't no soft uh, shoe and show either. So I, I think we're gonna be good, y'all. I think we're gonna be good. They, I, I feel like they good. played down Moon Knight's like psychosis because in the comics that dude was straight cuckoo for cocoa puffs. I mean, this dude had all kinds of mental health issues, and the, and I feel like they played that down a little bit. Right on, um, right on, right on. Well, guys, again, if you're watching this via live on the replay, there's a link down to this article in the description box below for you to read at your own leisure. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is going to wrap it up for us today. We only have five topics. The Moving News Roundup show number 73 live on YouTube at Twitch at Just My Opinion Reviews. And if you are watching this on the live on the replay, uh, again, everything that we discussed today is going to be in the description box below uh, with the respective links for you to read at your own leisure. Um, and again, uh, and I don't know if you heard this, Larry, because of uh, House of the Dragon, I'm moving my show from, until, you know, only while this show is on, I'm moving my mm -hmm. show from 6.30 to 6. So I'm moving okay. it up 30 minutes early uh, so that I'm not rushing, um, okay. you know, for House of the Dragon. Just FYI. Um, Larry, what do you have going on on your lovely channel for all the good people out there? Man, um, you know, you know, as I said, I'm changing some things up on my channel. So I'm going to be doing more photo and video uh, review stuff. I'm doing some more vlogging. I'm going to really focus on vlogging pretty much for the rest of the year and get some stuff done. I've done some fun stuff. Like I went to the U.S. Arboretum um, about a week ago. I have another one coming up about the worst park in D.C. Um I have I uh, went to the Maryland Zoo to go check that out to see some animals and stuff. So um, I do have some other products around here. I'll still be doing some reviews. Just I'm going to be much more selective in the ones that I choose to do. So, yeah, um, I do have um, I do have a, a review coming up of the uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. I have that phone coming in. I should have that um, later this week. So I'm going to. I'm not going to do like a regular full review of all the specs of the of the phone because to be perfectly honest with you, I don't really care about that stuff. I generally care about the cameras. And so I'm going to review the cameras and uh, and I'll do some comparison videos with that as well. So, yeah. All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is a tech master genius. So subscribe to his channel. You know, if you if you need some information on it, help this man reach his next milestone of 60,000 subscribers. I'm sure he would really appreciate it, as would I. And I would. he's on my channel tab right there on the top row of course this is what my channel looks like right here uh, but i'm gonna make it a little bigger for you and just do my pro uh, pubbing me and tyra uh posted our last video for rap shit on hbo max um so y'all can go check that out also on my channel that i posted today i got my tekken bloodline review <laughs> larry it's good larry, i loved it i effing loved it bro especially the first you did from that thumbnail oh my god bro <laughs> i i was going to heaven y'all checked it out taking bloodline i uh, also have my power uh book three raising canaan season two episode two recap got my uh end of the road trailer reaction with queen latifah and Ludacris. my wednesday trailer reaction on netflix my devotion trailer reaction from Netflix with uh, Jonathan Majors. 
Hey, my where's Chrome... Wednesday coming at? Where, where's what's that going to air on? Or is this that going right to the theaters? This is going to the theaters. Oh, okay. Uh, now this will be on Netflix, Cobra yeah. Kai season five. Uh, I did a live recap of episode one of She Hulk. Got my beast review on my channel with Idris Elbow. You can check that out. Yeah, brother's been um, busy. Yeah, I did a, a very busy. I uh, <laughs> I did a recap with episode one of She Hulk with E Man. Check that out. And I also have my non spoiler review for episodes one through four of She Hulk. And check it out. Day shift on Netflix with uh, Jamie. Uh, season uh, finale of Power. Got my round table interview with all my Epps and my Kyle Curtis. Prey review, Bullet Train review, and Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Man. But guys, now we got to tune in for Tobey Maguire. No, I'm, I'm teasing. Oh, dude. For, for House of Dragon, <laughs> it's going down. The show starts in 13 minutes. So let's go ahead and get out of here because I'm excited. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, me and Larry want to thank you so much for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that I'm B. Avery. That's Larry, and that's just our opinion. Peace out, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.